Presenting the Bell & Gossett Series E80SC Split Coupled Inline Pump, designed to deliver the industry's highest efficiencies, performance, and durability. Featuring stainless steel impellers and an expanded efficiency island for efficient pumping across the widest range of operational conditions, the E80SC is designed for vertical pumping applications and is available in a wide range of sizes with integrated sensorless or sensor technologic variable speed drives. In this short video, we'll briefly demonstrate how standard pump maintenance can be accomplished with a single technician due to Bell & Gossett's exclusive patented shaft jacking coupling. As usual, before performing any service, it is vitally important the repair technician review and precisely follow all local, state, and federal safety guidelines, as well as those set forth in the instruction manual. Additionally, proper PPE, or personal protective equipment, must be used. For this demonstration, we began by removing the guard so we could show you the coupling components and mechanical seal in their disassembled state. To reassemble the coupling onto the pump, first prepare the new mechanical seal for mounting by lubricating it with soapy water before placing it on the pump shaft. Next, insert the new mechanical seal onto the pump shaft, then insert the pump shaft key onto the keyway. Then take the seal plate cover connected to the flexible hose, slide it over the pump shaft, and attach it using the four screws. Place the grooved coupling half onto the motor shaft and pump shaft, ensuring that the motor shaft keyway and the pump shaft keyway are parallel. Note that you may need to rotate the motor shaft to make sure the keyways are parallel. Keep moving the coupling half until the coupling half groove is able to rest on the motor set screw collar. Take the other coupling half and put them together until they are flat and parallel. Again, you may need to rotate the shaft to get the coupling halves to fit closely together. Hand tighten the coupling bolts. Then use half inch wrenches to tighten the bolts the rest of the way. By tightening the bolts together, the tapered washer moves up the groove and that lifts the pump shaft and impeller back to their original height. Finally, reinstall the outer and inner coupling guards. Of course, this is just a preview of the innovative design that allows this pump to be serviced by a single technician in the field. Refer to the installation manual for complete step-by-step -step instructions. Thank you.